Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I will be sharing with you the possible arrival dates for the next round of stimulus payments and what Congress is saying on the crisis relief funds and what it means for millions of Americans across the country. So you want to be sure to stay until the end of this video. So far, Democrats in the House have passed legislation. But now, let me turn to today's announcement. 20 months ago, the COVID-19 pandemic exploded in America, creating the worst economic crisis we faced since the Great Depression wreaking havoc, not only on our economy, but the economies across the world. In just two months, over 20 million Americans lost their jobs. An unemployment rate shot up to 14.8%, the highest ever recorded in America. And all of you remember those scenes, major cities and small towns, main streets that looked like ghost towns. Boarded up businesses, empty roads, empty highways, empty airports, and empty train stations. Offices were closed, schools were closed, and hospitals were taken to the breaking point. When you remember the depths of the crisis we faced, it's all the more amazing the progress that we've made since then. We've gone from an economy that was shut down to an economy that's leading the world in economic growth. We've gone from small businesses being shuttered to a record number of new small businesses starting up. And we've gone from a devastating job destruction to record new job creation. Don't get me wrong, we still have a long way to go to fully recover from all the pain and destruction caused by the pandemic. And we're still dealing with the difficult challenges and complications caused by COVID-19 that are driving up costs for American families. I know for a lot of Americans, things are still very hard, very hard. But if you look at all the facts, all the facts, you can only come to one conclusion. We've made enormous progress in this country. First and foremost, our economy is creating jobs, lots of jobs. In fact, we've seen a record new job growth in America this year, 5.6 million jobs just since I was sworn in on January the 20th. More jobs created at this point in the new presidency than ever before in American history. We have seen a dramatic drop in the unemployment rate from a high of 14.8% in April of 2020 to 4.6% today. Earlier this year, independent experts were predicting it would take until the end of 2023 to see unemployment that low. Our economy is creating new businesses lots of new businesses. In fact, Americans are starting small businesses at a record rate, up 30% compared to before the pandemic. Economists will tell you that an increase in new businesses is one of the best signs of an economy, an economy that's becoming more innovative and more dynamic. And that's because small businesses aren't just the heart and soul of America. They're not just the bedrock of so many communities across the country. America's small businesses are the primary job creators, innovators, and drivers that power our economic progress. That's why it's a powerful statement about, of the faith about that we have in our country, where our country and our economy is heading, that small business creation is surging, surging in America today, which is why I'm proud to say, if you look at my presidency so far, it's a jobs presidency. And it's a small business presidency. So if you look at the facts, here's what the record shows. Record job creation, record economic growth, record new small business creation. That's the story that should give us confidence about the economy that we're building. Confidence in ourselves, confidence in the future. Now, after years of wages being flat or falling behind, we're also seeing something else. Things are getting better for American workers. Higher wages, better benefits, more flexible schedules. Balance sheets for American families are better as well. Savings are up. Home equity is up. Credit card balances are down. And if you continue and combine the wage increases we've seen with the, with the direct relief my administration. For President Biden's Build Back Better agenda, and the bill will now move on to the Senate for consideration in the upper chamber. A fourth nationwide stimulus check is also updated. And recent data shows that there has been a strong improvement in the hardship that was experienced by U.S. households since December 2020. 
It accelerated by the $1,400 stimulus checks in March and the advanced child tax credit payments, which began in July. While millions of Americans are still struggling to cover regular expenses, put food on the table and pay rent, which led to calls for further stimulus checks. Looking back past, looking back at past negotiations that resulted in stimulus checks being sent out to Americans, the urgency of the situation was the most detriment, determinant factor in how long it took. Congress and the White House acted swiftly to get the first round of stimulus checks passed with little resistance. The direct payments of up to $1,200 per adult began landing in accounts, just a matter of weeks after the official start of the crisis. Now, once a fourth stimulus bill is signed into law, payments can be sent out in the same week. A number of states have already begun sending out their own stimulus checks to residents. Most recently, Maine announced a $285 disaster relief payment that began in November and will run through the end of the year. Over half a million Mainers are also eligible to receive the benefit from the nationwide, from the statewide initiative. But Governor Mills announced relief checks for front workers who keep Maine's economy open during the crisis. Now more than 500,000 Mainers will receive one-time $285 checks in response to this hard work. California is also currently sending its residents $600 to $1,100 payments as part of the second Golden State Stimulus Program. Last year, the state approved the first round for low-income residents in California. They were not eligible for the federal stimulus checks. The second round made around two-thirds of the state tax residents eligible for a tax rebate and gave an additional $500 to households with at least one payment. With at least one dependent. Now payments will continue through the end of the year as the California Franchise Tax Board processes tax returns and sends out refund to residents. But households with children could look forward to another 12 months to advance child tax credit payments next year along with other tax breaks and subsidies to help with childcare. Democrats are also aiming to pass the bill before the end of the year, when the advance payments will expire if the extension is not passed. And currently, the child tax credit payment amount is $3,600 for children under 6 years old and $3,000 for children aged 6 to 17. But the first half of the extended credit began delivered, being delivered to families began being delivered to families in July and will continue until December. That works out to $300 per month for children under 6 and $250 for children 6 to 17. Payments phase out for people with higher incomes. The future of those payments remain uncertain and are originally planned to be extended to the end of 2025. Negotiation with Democratic moderates has reigned it back until the end of 2022. There has also been efforts to try and put limits on who can access it, such as the need to be working. And one important change was to how to was to how the tax could be refunded, becoming fully refundable in March, which has been extended as part of the Build Back Better plan. The changes introduced in March mean that nothing needs to be paid in taxes. Come 2021 tax turns, and the child tax credit is being fully refundable. What are your thoughts on Joe Manchin, everybody? And will they be able to send out the Ford stimulus payments? Tell me in the comments below.